I'm Andy Adams, editor at Canadian Yachting Magazine, and I have a really interesting device to show you today. Alan Stovell from Western Marine is going to describe it to us. Alan, thanks very much. What have we got? We have the EFOI uh, fuel cell powered battery charger from SFC Energy in Germany. So this is a passive hydrogen fuel cell. It's running off a hydrogen rich liquid here and is running a, a smart battery charger that's going to take care of the batteries on board the boat. It comes in three different sizes. This particular one is the largest and is capable of putting 210 amp hours of power back into the battery system in a 24 hour period. It's passive, there's no combustion in the unit. It's running off this hydrogen rich liquid and the byproducts are a little bit of CO2, about as much as a baby breathing in a room, and a little bit of distilled water. You'll get about a liter of distilled water in the build for every 10 liters of fuel that you go through. The battery charger is a smart charger, so it'll take care of the batteries regardless of size or chemistry. It can all be set accordingly. In this particular case, it's going to come on when the batteries get down to 12.2 volts and continue to charge them until the battery gets up to 14.2. So at the moment, it's in. Uh, it's starting up. The battery voltage has dropped down to 12.2. We're running a little refrigerator here, and the, the unit is in startup now. And very shortly, it'll start putting some power back into the batteries, and it'll shut off at 14.2. The unit takes about 15 minutes to fully start up, and then it'll put out its full power. So is it actually going now? It's running now. I can only tell by putting my hand on it. It's <laughs> very, very quiet. There is a tiny fan inside and a very small fuel pump to move the liquid from the cell to the unit. Now there's something really important about how quiet it is, isn't there? There is, because you can put it in any, you can put it right in the accommodation space. It doesn't produce any toxic um, uh, emissions and the fuel system is sealed. And wasn't there an announcement recently by Parks Canada that they've banned generators in certain anchorages? Parks Canada is in the process of banning the use of generators in the Thousand Islands area. And at the moment, um, you can see from the bulletin on our Parks Canada website, about 50% of the area is now has a generator ban, and that will progress. Isn't that something? So this gets right around that generator band it and does. there you've got power on board. It's a very viable um, solution and uh, unlike solar power, it, it operates, is capable of operating 24 hours a day regardless of sun or cloud. Um, produces no emissions, has no external uh, impact on the boat. Uh, it's quiet and, uh, and very green. What a great solution to a problem that's come up. Guys who've invested in a generator are going to be a little upset. That's right. It also solves the problem for someone whose vessel just isn't capable of accommodating a generator. Actually, that's a really important point because um, th what's the strap around it? I mean, this is such a compact unit. It's entirely portable. It's held down to its base with a strap. It's easily disconnected. and. This particular one is the largest. Physically, they're all the same size. This particular one weighs eight kilograms. So it can, for winter boat winterizing, it can easily be taken home and stored in a warm place. It actually has an antifreeze mode, so that if you, if you left this on the boat with fuel connected up to a battery, and if the temperature in the boat dropped down to three degrees C, it would actually go into a defrost mode and protect itself by starting several times a day and stopping itself from freezing and in that case it would take five months to go through the fuel. Isn't that a remarkable thing? Alan, thanks so much for sharing this great information with us. I think we've got a solution for a lot of boaters who haven't previously been able to get a generator on board or who want to go into those great anchorages. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Thanks, Andy.